All right, and welcome back to Barber Farms. Today is Thanksgiving Day before I go do my turkey. We just got back from vacation. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is seed some lettuce from my hydroponics. And what you see here is the berry seeder. I got my system from Croc Kings, a 540 plant uh, hydroponic NFT system. And this first video, I'm just gonna show you how we seed. And then after that, I'll show you uh, when I start putting my channels and everything together. We'll show you my channel, my channels uh, set up and putting those together. But this this came as a kit from a hydro uh, from Crop King. Uh, it's a vi mini micro vacuum cleaner. Uh, got the vacuum seeder. It's got two plates for lettuces or or and uh, leafy crops. This this plate here is for uh, pellets seeds, and then got another plate. Can't see the hose on this one. This is for uh, raw seeds, which are like your long and flat ones. It's non palatable for this one. And now that I used to switch them out as four boats. These four boats here. I don't know, I know you can't see because I got on nobody's doing it. I got it on a tripod. I'll just come closer. There's four boats here. And you just take those out. They're just, you don't tighten them real tight. You just tighten them just enough where they're flat washed on the inside. Get soft, and I'll probably show you that one here in a minute when I switch up plates. But first, we're gonna go with the pelleted seeds. It's a quick hookup. You just put the one end into the vacuum cleaner, your other end into the seeder. This one stays open all the way, and then this one's open and closing. That's just to adjust your suction. So, uh, you don't know how to adjust this thing until you try your first seeds. And this is an experiment for me, so I'm learning too. So I got my rock wool. I got a, a special a guard for the rock wool, for, a, for this rock wool seeder. So you just place that over that. And these are 200 cell counts I'm using. I didn't have a dibble board. It just compressed the hose. So you just lay it over until you get a fit tight snug until you fit in the hose. Just press down and make the hose to where you pellet the seed will set in and set it off. Now, this is supposed to be, you can wet this first and put the pellet seed, but I'm gonna put the pellet the seed in and then get it wet and let it soak. Uh, just because uh, I'm gonna try two different ways just to see. So I'm gonna try it the dry way first, and then next one I'm gonna actually uh, wet it and see if there's a difference. So we're about to find out. So the first one we're going to do is, is, it, uh, is the green sweet crisp salmonella lettuce. So take your seeds, dump them in. This says it's a 250 cell count seed pack. We're about to see how accurate it is because this is a 200 cell seeder. So I'm going to turn the vacuum on. <laughs>
There we go. Seeds are in a hole. Pretty good. Um, it looks like all of them's got one in it. And that's how it's done. So we got one done. Now, this is also a seed tray. So when you get done, the seeds are left. It's turned over. I missed it. And they roll out. They roll out on this side. That's the catcher there. So, yep, that's all right. I missed a few. Put it right there. And roll them in there. This freezer's coming in handy. And cup seeds are pretty easy to handle with. So they roll right in there. So there we go. So I'm gonna put these back in the bag because I'm going to just do one and leave for now. Now what they should have came up with on these was a little lip right here. So they're rolling the bag a little bit easier. Get right in here at the bottom. Well how wet a seed grown on concrete in a store. I'm looking to make sure there's a lettuce seed. Sometimes you have a little trash. And they all look pretty good. So there's a couple that I was talking about. I remember it was in here somewhere. If I can put a seed in those two that had some, uh, I guess like they peeled off or something, it would make sure a whole round seed. You don't have to, but I'm doing this because I don't want the empty spots. All right. And so after that's done, they sent these trees with hose in them. I'm gonna, I've got some at the house that don't have hose in them, so what I'm gonna do is still put them in there. And then on my one at the house that's got hose, that doesn't have hose, I'm gonna set that inside of it. I'm gonna put something underneath it to where uh, it's not just sitting in water all the time. I may and I may not, but that's how it goes. It's just, just your standard 10, 20 trays. And there you go. So all wet them. And that's why it'd be good to get the one, another tray like this. It doesn't have the hose in it. And elevate it to where it sits in there. It's got about that much space. You can wet this and it'll drain through. So that's that one. And so that's the video of using the berry cedar. See how quick that was? Once I get used to it, I'll be ready. Rock and roll. And hopefully this will save me some money in the long run because we spend a lot every year on transplants. And now with this, I'll be able to do my own transplants the way I want to. And when I say by the way I want to means I don't have to get a bunch done at one time. I can actually do even better staggered planting. So still planting once a month, I can plant every week, every other day, twice a week now and just get my own seeding schedule. In. So I don't have to depend on nobody and try to find the money to buy transplants. There'll be some transplants I'll probably still buy, but for the majority of it, I'll do uh, stuff like peppers, uh, celery, stuff like that. It takes actual temper, dip, t different temperature vari variations to germinate. I'll probably use uh, some local greenhouses for that just because they already have it set up and and they can do it better than I can. So uh, I'm going to continue to do uh, six more different types of lettuces and a lettuce mix and these will be germinate probably two or three days so probably about two weeks i'll be ready to transplant it to my nft systems and in the ground uh, i'll be making more videos uh, this is andre barber barber farms and we're out